and here we are. We have woken up and arrived, and we are in the port of Bergen. Um, it's quite misty, it's quite cloudy up on them hills there, um, but that's not going to stop us. There is a bit of mist in the, the weather, a bit wet. Again, we'll wrap up and go for a walk around and see what we can find. Microphone on the camera decided to fail at this point, so you've got a voiceover from me. But let's go see what we can see. Fish market mainly with meats. 
We have live tanks, we have tanks with live fish in. <laughs> <laughs> so as we continue to walk through the market, um, which do have some seating areas for when you buy some of the fresh produce, they will cook it and you can eat it. Um, and there's pre-packed foods as well that you can have. Uh, it is a very fishy market, um, being very close to obviously the port. Um, behind this building on the left literally is the port. Uh, and the, the ships and boats so yeah one of their main things is fish but it's, it's a good place to, to view and, and walk through can be quite busy though so it's very different isn't it? yeah very different this is definitely more built up and busier yeah whereas it's, it was quiet peaceful As we continue to walk down the, the bay here, the harbour area, we can see all the, the massive ships and boats, sorry, in yeah, the bay here, the ship in the distance. Uh, our ship is out to the uh, fishing further out towards the, the actual history here. Um, but yeah, there's lots of architecture, there's lots of old buildings um, that were you know, used over the, the, the hundreds of years. There's lots of information that you can read about them, um, which is all in English as well, which is about the window. Um, you've got these shops over here underneath these, these huge buildings um, as well. The statues and, and remembrance areas for sailors. And yeah, you've really got to explore these side streets. Um, because up here you've got little shops, you've got areas up there as well. And <laughs> There is the Golden Archers, the uh, old Mackie Lee, just in case you need one. Um, but yeah, we continue to have a look um, at the little shops and explore the area. We can see here this old telephone box has been made into a, uh, a little library. So borrow a book or buy a book. We've got some high-end shops. And then you've got some of the, the nicer little trinket shops as I call them uh, just here so plenty to see plenty to buy uh, and have a look at the weather I'm sure it would be great if it was nice and sunny but it was a little bit drizzly but it didn't stop us from you know, having a look uh, at everything we did go in a few shops buy some little trinkets this one was a Christmas shop we didn't quite buy any Christmas items at this point um, but who knows, maybe maybe when we go to Florida we'll go and buy some Christmas ones. Yeah, Alex said yeah. <laughs> so join us as we continue through our tour of the little town and the shops around. Oh, 
Zilacina. So as we walk back and conclude our trip to Bergen, we will rejoin the ship, uh, we will have our card scanned back in and any of our luggage or bags or anything like that scanned and we are then back on the ship for sail away, which was quite a magnificent sail away. 
um, although a little delayed. But um, yeah, this is Sail Away. We honestly did fit under this bridge, um, but it was really windy, so the wonderful microphone that I seem to have uh, got on my camera at the time was really not playing ball, so apologies for the lack of commentary uh, coming up. But uh, as you'll see, the, the scenery um, was great, and yeah, it was quite a good atmosphere as we were, were sailing out of Bergen, um, which was our port stop. So as you'll see, we do go under this huge um, like suspension bridge that spans the whole area, uh, and yeah, it, it was really good. So enjoy our sail away on the Anthem of the Seas. So we decided to have us a, bit, a visit to the Bionic Bar. Now the Bionic Bar is literally what it says. It's a bionic, so robotic, um, arm that creates a drink for you. Um, and you can have a select uh, amount of um, pre-made or pre-designed drinks that you can choose from. But you can do what we're doing and make one yourself. Now actually this was cheaper to make one yourself than it was to uh, choose one of the predefined drinks. Um, and you can get the robot arms doing some strange little things as well when you, you do it on here. So, as you can see, you select what you want, your juices, your syrups, um, and your, your, your fizzy side, which is really good. Um, you go ahead and select what you want, how much of it you want, um, and also what you want the robot to do at each stage. So you've got your strain, your stir, and your shake. So you go through everything and select, you make your drink, you can name it, we called ours Panda's Adventures. You go through, add it to your cart once you've selected all of these options and where you wish the robot to either shake it, put some ice in, stir it, um, or something like that. Again, 
once you add it to your cart, you've already uh, scanned, to get into this <laughs> iPad, um, you've already scanned your room card at the bottom, so this will just be charged to your room account uh, payable on departure, um, which is attached to your card that you have when you board, like everything on board. So you do that, it cost us $10.50, but actually it was quite a nice drink, it wasn't too small. Sends the order over to the robot, Ta -da. and then you can watch it, queue on screen, and our estimated time was two minutes to get this done because there are other people obviously making drinks as well. So there are some screens around, the camera doesn't pick it up too well because of the, the, like, the mirror screens, um, so it goes from this little iPad here up to this screen and it will have, there's one either side of the bar, and it will have your drink on there uh, and we're just like at the, the end line there, our drink. As I say, it's a mirror um, like screen so it's a bit difficult to see on the camera. But these are the robot arms that will make our drink. That one's just doing a little bit of a stir. So as we can see, our drink is now in production, the Panda's Adventure Drink. And our drink is actually the, the very furthest arm that's just um, doing its thing now. So as you can see, it's selecting all of the appropriate drinks. Actually, no, it's the, I can't remember which arm it was, if I'm honest, but it probably looks like this one that we've put loads of little shakes in, because it was just fun to watch. You can see it's, it chooses your um, alcohol that you've chosen, measure as, measures it out, if it's a double or a single. Obviously on these robot arms, it's pre-measured, there's no keep pouring, keep pouring, uh, like a person might, but yeah, it's, it's all correctly measured out. But yeah, let's watch and see how the Bionic Bar makes our drink. So there it is, it's pouring our little drink out uh, onto the, the little pad there with your plastic cup and uh, what will happen now is, now something that would normally happen to us but it didn't thankfully, and um, the drink next to us, the robot arm actually knocked over the cup uh, and spilt there of the drink and um, luckily there's an attendant on hand to sort that out for the other people but uh, here's our drink, the Panda's Adventure, um, it's pretty nice, it was pretty nice. So we went away and drank that, it was quite strong, um, and yeah, I had a bit of a re relax in the afternoon really, um, until we went back to the room um, after. We are. Nice. Hey guys, and welcome to our little outro for today. So. Yeah, it's been a long day again. Yeah, yeah. not as long one. as yesterday, but yeah. no, still, still a, an active day. Yeah, um, we which is good. arrived at uh, Bergen Hall this morning about six o'clock. Um, very, very different to old and the previous day. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, don't get me wrong; it was still nice, but I feel like it was very industrial. industrial. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's lots of shipping containers and other ships in there that were for well, commercial yeah, use commercial like that. not yeah. cruise ships yeah, and yeah. passenger ships but there's more to do <coughs> there though like the yeah. markets and and things like that were really nice that's some more I think it's more traditional Norway compared to the mm -hmm. other places we've been the you know markets yeah. the the rows of shops along the port harbour side and but it was good yeah I enjoyed it yeah it's nice. um when we arrived in port well when we were getting off the ship 
um, just as we were getting off off the ramp it absolutely chucked it down yeah and it was really fine what I call wet rain yeah <laughs> yeah so I came running back from a coat because um, it's not although it's raining and you're in Norway it's not actually that cold although mm. it's only like 10 to 13 degrees mm. um, but, but it just didn't feel because that there's no bitter wind I think that's why yeah well not for I us mean, anyway it might be different yeah I mean go and stand out there at the moment and it's pretty cold but that's because we're in the middle of the we're now in the middle of the North, North Sea, sea. Mm. so we'll get on to that um, but we've just come back it's now what 10, 10 o'clock o'clock yeah and uh, we've just come back from the show We Will Rock You uh, on Anthem of the Seas, so that's Royal Caribbean. And, well, it's the music of Queen. inspired by Queen yeah. um, told as a story um, through that music. It, that sounds a bit ooh, but trust me, was really I was good. like that, because I even asked when we sat down, yeah. oh, I, I hope this is all right, because um, yeah. I like Queen, we both do. Yeah, but it's, um, it's very but wow. musical theatre. If you like that kind of thing, you'll love this. Yeah, it's cruise ship music, but this was London a West, West End, End yeah, style yeah. production. It was absolutely brilliant. If you get a chance, if you are on Royal Caribbean, um, I don't know if they do it on other ships as well, but on this particular one, Anthem of the Seas, um, they show We Will Rock You. Now, it does get very busy. Yeah. You don't pre book anything, you turn up. But we really turn up half an hour before the opening of the doors yeah. to get in so if you can do that absolutely well, you'll actually, get a good spot fair, upstairs to be fair we went for an early dinner <clears throat> didn't we at the buffet yeah and and like, right, it's 10 to 7 it, I know it starts at quarter to 8 but let's get, get there. there early and we'd actually we'll got there for just about 7 there was already people queuing we weren't far behind in the queue but I, honestly that, the 10 minutes when we just got in and sat down it was packed yeah there was people actually sitting in the aisles along the stairs yeah, just because there was up. no seats left but obviously but, really wanted to, to see it because it's yeah. only showing tonight at 7 45 and then a matinee tomorrow and, and then at two o'clock tomorrow they're the only two shows so i hope everyone does get a chance to yeah. see it that wants to see it absolutely because it's well worth it yeah 100 percent. music's cracking um you know i'll put a clip cracking, in that's a new one it's cracking love's cracking um i'll put a, a, a clip in of what i musically audio of what we were listening to as well in a couple of snapshots of how busy it was but yeah that was great mm. um on our arrival back into our room we had a nice little surprise yeah uh, courtesy of royal caribbean thank you very much um we had a nice large i would say quite bottle large of wine, yeah. bottle of white wine okay. um in a little royal caribbean holder which yes. was quite nice full yes. of ice yes. which was good um and to uh, what do you call them? Cheese plates. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like which a is little, good. Yeah, cheese plates. So we'll be munching down on those after this. <laughs> um, cheese before bed, I hear you say. What is this madness? Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, so thank you, Royal Caribbean, for that. Um, what else? What else have we done today? We've done quite a bit around the ship as well. We've yeah, been because obviously we left a wander. Well, we left port at well, meant to be two o'clock. Yes, but I hear. There was some late arrivals. Yes, and naughty, I naughty. Hear there was a slight <clears throat> incident, say accident, and someone had to actually leave the ship. And go to so hospital. it was a kind of a rush, pack and, and off go kind yeah. of thing. So we had to kind of wait for them, which um, sounds quite serious. And I hope yeah. that person is okay. Absolutely. Um, I know, and I know Alex will say the same. We don't mind waiting for anybody no. that has gone to hospital or been poorly. Generally Absolutely reason, not. You know. But people who are taking the pee <laughs> and coming back to a ship 45 minutes after they have told you to be back for yeah. and then just wander along the dock and, like and, nothing's happening well everybody's is, shouting at you. The thing is it's not like they wouldn't have known that what time to get back. Because no, it's, it's everywhere. everywhere. It's there's even, a Tannoy announcement well, a lot. As soon as you're leaving there's a, a sign that says you must be back at you know and it's, it's right in front of you. I mean I, I, I mean okay <laughs> fine if you got stuck somewhere I get it you know we don't know the circumstances they no, might have no. gone some so far out that they couldn't find their way back. Yeah. We don't know the circumstances. We don't. But so, but just be wary. Be but pick up the pace a bit when the yeah, whole ship is yeah, looking yeah. over the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just be wary and, and, and yeah. you know, some cruise ships will not wait. Yeah, yeah, they'll just go. They we, will not wait. We have, we are currently going 21 and a half knots. 
because we were an hour late leaving well, due to everything. Yeah, but and also, we also then had to do a more or less a 360 in the middle <laughs> yeah. of the ocean for whatever reason and more or less come to a stop. Yeah. We don't know why, nothing was said, but a little boat came up beside us and yeah. it was very hello. strange. It was very strange. It would be an hijack. Mm. Um, but yeah, that has been our day. Full day again. Full day <laughs> of ready for bed. Fun and frolics. Um, we're currently sailing from Bergen back to Southampton mm. Mm. and we will arrive Sunday morning. It's now Friday so we've got a full night at sea, full day at sea um, and half a night of, at sea <laughs> yeah. um, to Southampton. Oh but, yeah we've got a day at sea <coughs> tomorrow. I don't know what's planned. I've just grabbed yeah. the uh, compass. Hold on. The cruise just compass. Cruise compass. This is a little handout that you get in the room. I haven't read this yet so uh, I was just... Tomorrow we will be having a jubilee celebration in the evening. Ah yes. Um, there'll be a balloon yes. drop. The ship's been decorated yeah, as you would have right. seen through the vlog. That's not till nine o'clock at night that's though so we've got to do <coughs> well something to pass our yeah. time through the day but there's always things. There'll be activities. Yeah. Which will be cool. Yeah, um, but yeah, so we will sure. be sailing back, as I say, right now in the North Sea to Southampton. Sorry about, that. Sorry about that. <laughs> the phone did ring again, which is just down there. Just We're very popular people yeah. these days, you know. <laughs> so every time it seems to be, yeah, anyway. And answer the phone, the bouquet residents. Gentlemen of the stateroom speaking. Anyway, that was. Um, oh, that's to be decided, but yeah. I was a friend of ours that worked on the cruise ship. Um, he came and had a chat with us last night in mm. our stateroom. Um, no, but uh, we'll, we'll, anyway. we'll, we'll leave what they said for another time. But um, it was a very nice call, um, which is yeah, great. Um, so we will wrap it up there. Mm. We are going to have a day at sea tomorrow. Mm. Probably not in the way of much of vlogging anything, because we're going to have a bit of a rest day, a bit of a chill. Um, out there, out there, will basically just be the North Sea. It's a little bit rough out there at the moment. We have been wibbly wobbling about, mm -hmm. yeah, um, which was interesting. <laughs> no, actually, the real interesting one, which you probably will have already seen if you're this far, um, is when we docked at Alden. Everything wibbly wobbly there, <laughs> base, the moves, the lock. Because the whole ship it did, did like a 360 yeah. in the, uh, I want to say dock, yeah, in the dock, uh, in the fjord, mm. to try and get mm. up to the, the actual dock side. Um, <laughs> the guy who was going to catch the rope missed three times. Three times, yeah. <laughs> so the captain, uh, <laughs> it's quite funny actually, because yet again, everybody started to come out to one side of the ship and started cheering. I'm, I'm sure he thought it was a bit of a show in the end. Um, but you could see the captain like... <laughs> and then thrust us back on to push us against the dock um, but the whole ship was like yeah. so all in on, we've had a really good day as yeah. you've probably already seen as well we made our own cocktail we did at the Bionic at Bar the Bionic which was bar. good I uh, really enjoyed that and recommend the show so if Absolutely. you do get to come on screws and it is on I'd highly recommend it or if it is, I don't know if it's still on the, the, the West End Theatre. Maybe not sure, because I think they're all on the ship. No, not. I mean, it might be a different cast. Potentially so. But I'm sure it's the same show. Yeah. So I'd say go see it. If it's in Absolutely. your local area, go see it. So, from me, Paul, and me, Alex, it's good night. Well, it might be good night, it might be a good day whenever you're watching yeah. it. It's good but night it's from goodbye. us. But, yeah. Goodbye, really. Goodbye. Until the next vlog, bon which will voyage. probably be when we're arriving in South but we won't talk about that. So, yeah. ta ta. Please remember to Thanks like, comment watching. that bit. And <laughs> remember to like, comment, and subscribe, which is probably going to come up on your screen anytime here. Sometimes I can't do it and it never comes up. But yeah. give us a comment, you give know, us a like, you know give us a button. You know where the buttons are by now, I'm sure. Yeah, you know what to do. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll speak real soon. Bye bye. bye. And you'll often see me look over here because just here is a huge TV. Um, you can see the light on my hand. Uh, a huge TV with a map on, which is really good because it tells you exactly where you are, how fast you're going, what the temperature is, and also what the sea depth is, which is interesting when you're looking. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But we're just coming past somewhere called Stavanger. That's Stavanger. Um, if I said that sorry, if I said that wrong, sorry. Um, looking on the camera. Say that, say that again. Stavanger. 
Stop anger. No, that's not right. No. Wait, it goes round with a loop. Wait, so right, it's not right. I'm sure it's <coughs> Stravanger. Stravanger? Yeah. Okay. Stra what did you say? Stravanger? No, I said Stravanger. <laughs> Stravanger. Stop coming around now. They're with us. Anyway, that's not, that's not the Some point. time later. There. Yeah. No, not yet. No, that's not the, that's that's not not the point. No. But, yeah, so tomorrow we'll be doing, you know, many activities. Maybe a couple of drinky poos here and there. Who knows? Um, here, no, 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 no. Oh, it's gone completely off the map now. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we, we, we'll have... Yes, I am waiting for this. Look. Stavanger. Stavanger. Oh, yeah. It's S-T-A... V A N G E R. How would you say it? I was going to say tell us in the comments below, below, but you'd just like type it out and it'd be the same. But, hey. So yeah, that's. Anyway, oh, phone and yet again, again. <laughs> phone is ringing. Please do bear with us. <laughs>